Now, about a dozen years ago, I was given what I now call the extreme question challenge. You see, I had a pretty big day job. I was running the corporate university at Oracle, but I also had a pretty big night job. I, I've got four children now, but back then it was just, it was a mere three. And I was talking to my buddy Brian at work, just, you know, just talking about things in our house. And I was like, Brian, you know, my house is chaos. Things are crazy. You know, I am constantly telling my kids what to do, retelling them what to do, sort of barking orders at them. I said, you should see bedtime at my house. You know, it starts with, okay, kids, kids, playtime's over. Come on, put that away, leave him alone, put that back. Okay, come on over here, get your pajamas on. No, 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 pajamas on now. No, those are inside out, turn them around. Okay, the tag goes in the back, they're, they're on backwards, the tag goes in the back. Okay, come on, now brush your teeth in the bathroom. There you go, brush your teeth. Okay, no, no, wrong toothbrush, switch, switch toothbrushes. And then they come back out, it's like, no, go back. I saw that, use toothpaste this time. Then they're done with their teeth in. It's like, okay, come on, story time, story time. Who's this? Come on, book, book, where's the book? Where's the, I, give me the book, story time. And the next thing you're yelling, come on, okay, come on, everyone back here, back here, prayers, it's time for prayer. Come on, pray, right now, we pray. And then it's bedtime, come on, in your bed, out of my bed, not in her bed, back in your bed, get in your bed, go to sleep. Just, just go to sleep, please, go to sleep. And this was night after night after night. And you know, there wasn't really any yelling, but there was a lot of telling, of me telling my kids what to do. And Brian, you know, he gave me some advice. Now, I wasn't looking for any advice. This was purely recreational complaining. But fortunately, he gave me advice. He gave me a challenge. He said, Liz, why don't you go home tonight and speak to your children only in the form of questions? No statements, no directions, just questions. I'm like, Brian, I don't think you understand because, you know, I'm going to be home about six and they don't go to bed till 930. So this is three and a half hours. And he said, I get it. I understand nothing but questions. You know, and I thought it was an intriguing little challenge. And I was curious, like, could I do this? And I decided that not only was I taking his wicked little challenge, I was going to go absolutely all the way with this. Not a single statement. So I sort of summoned up courage. You know, I parked my car in the garage, summoned up courage, like, I'm going in. And I went in and dinner was interesting and playtime was interesting and we got to bedtime. And I just simply looked at my watch and I said, you know, it was 8.30, kids, what time is it? And they said, well, it's bedtime. Well, what do we do at bedtime? What comes first? Well, we, we put away our toys. And then what do we do? We get on our pajamas. I said, okay, now who needs help with their pajamas? And my two-year-old needed help, so I helped him. And then I said, once those pajamas are on, what comes next? And they headed to the bathroom to brush their teeth. Well, who's gonna be first getting their teeth brushed? And then once their teeth are brushed, what comes next? Well, they said story time. Well, what book are we gonna read tonight? Who's gonna read the book? You know, unfortunately, they picked my husband to read that book, so I'm still on track with nothing but questions and as soon as that's done, well then what do we do? Well, we say our prayers. And then what do we do when our prayers are done? Well, we get in our bed. And they went to, they got in their beds and they stayed in their beds. And I was standing in the hallway. We've got this kind of big open space that connects the bedroom. I am standing there with absolutely nothing to do. I'm in total shock. So, you know, my mouth is hanging over. I'm wondering, what has happened to my children? What has happened to them? And I'm starting to think, wow, I wonder how long they've known how to do this. Because it didn't seem like they knew how to do this yesterday. Something has happened to my children. And as I reflected on this, I realized something had happened to me. When I shifted out of the mode of having all the answers, and I stopped telling people what to do, and I started asking questions, I found out that my children had the answers. They knew what to do. They knew how to get themselves into bed. And they knew how to do a whole lot more than that. Now, I was so intrigued by what happened in my home that I kept this up for three days, kind of continuing this, asking questions and letting my children find the answers. Oh, about day two or day three, something else occurred to me. I thought, I wonder if the people I work with, you know, the people on my management team, I wonder if they know a whole lot more than I've seen. And so I started asking the questions and letting other people find the answers. It profoundly and forever changed the way I led as a parent, the way I led in my home.
but it's also forever changed the way I led. I realized the most important role of a leader is to ask the questions and let other people find those answers.